Hello there, you once more welcome to the Glory Ram Devotion Moment. This is a beautiful day, the day the Lord has made, and we have chosen to rejoice and be glad in it. You see, peace and joy, they are all as a result of the choice we make. You know, yesterday Paul was talking to the Philippian church and he told them there's a need to focus on those things that will actually help your heart and your life. You know, don't focus on things that will destroy you. Focus on things that will make your life go in the direction that you'll be proud of and others around you will be proud of. And today we are looking at, you know, verse number 9 of Philippians chapter number 4. And this is simply what it says. Paul speaking, he said, Practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me and model your way of living on it. And the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. Now, this is very huge. Now, it is with some boldness, real boldness, that Paul could say, practice what you have learned and received and heard and seen in me. Now, take note, he was very, very careful the words he used. He said, practice what you have learned. In other words, he's taking some time to teach, all right, and received. So it is one thing to learn, is another thing to receive. Paul talked about some people ever learning but never coming to the knowledge of the truth. So it is huge. You learn and receive. See, so practice what you have learned and received. And then he went on to say, and heard and seen in me. So he's saying, what I told you, I did it. All right? It's not like, okay, uh, do what I say, not what I do. He's saying, do what I say and do. So he's saying that you should practice what you have heard and seen in me. So not many of us preachers can do that, or Christians can say that. There are a lot of people who say, you know, <laughs> you know, do what I say, not what I do. <laughs> Those days we used to have uh, a kind of uh, song we sing when we play. Everybody do as I do, don't worry. Do, do, do as I do, don't worry. I don't know how many of you know of that song. Anyway, but you see, uh, it, it says you will do, if, I, if, if you follow what I do, you don't need to be worried. All right? Paul is saying, do what I told you to do. But not just only what I told you to do, what I do. All right? You know, some parents will like, you know, uh, you, know uh, you don't need to follow me. Uh, you follow what the pastor tells you. <laughs> They know that their lives have nothing worth emulating. We should be bold to say, if you do what I do and what I've told you, you're definitely going to have a beautiful life. How many of us can really truly say that? Hmm, that is huge. So he said, what you have heard and seen in me. So he said, what I say with my mouth, is in consonance agrees with my lifestyle, the things that I do. And went on to say, and model your way of living on it. Model your way of living on it. So Paul is saying, now this is who the true model is right here now. That's, you know, you know we, we have modeling in the world, you know, uh, in fashion and all kind of stuff. Paul said, model your life and live on it. The kind of life that I live, the way I live my life, say so you model your life and live on it. Now, how many of us can truly tell our children, how many of us can truly tell our church members to follow the, our lifestyle and that it will help them? Look at where it went on to say to. It says, and the God of peace, of untroubled, undisturbed well-being will be with you. 
In other words, he's not just saying, may God be with you. He's saying, live your life like I'm, like I'm living mine and God is going to be with you. He's saying, follow what I teach you and also manifest in my life and God is going to bless you. Now, that is huge because not many people can say, if you do what I am doing, you're going to be blessed. Now, how many of us can really look at somebody and say, live your life like I'm living mine. God is going to bless you. You see, if we have skeletons in our cupboards, if we have secret sins, you know, you know, things that we, we are not proud of, it's going to be very difficult to tell somebody to live like that. May God give us the grace to live a life that will bring glory to Him. If you are in the church and you know you cannot be able to say that, you're not able to say, live your life like, like mine and you, God is going to be pleased with you, then it's time for repentance. It's time to actually ask that the Lord will have mercy on you, that what He did on the cross of Calvary will be completed in your life. That His blood will wipe away every sin, secret and known sin. And that He will help you, give you a spirit to live for Him. And if you do that, He's definitely going to come in and your life will never be the same again. I hope you do that. I trust that He will answer your prayer if you pray from a sincere heart. Thank you for being part of today's broadcast. Till I come your way again by the grace of God tomorrow, I'm Ego Louis Yegbebu. God bless you. Thank you.